Hello, it's us again. Welcome to another episode. So, we've made it to Pontefract, which for all of you who don't know where it is, it's not in Wales, even though it sounds Welsh, it's actually in Yorkshire, not far south of Leeds. Uh, we've got here and it's still light and it's not raining, whereas we left uh, when we left Nottingham it was raining. So we're quite happy. Uh, we're going to start on the outskirts and work our way through the town centre. So stop number one for us, a little bit of Nottingham. The Robin Hood. A rustic feeling pub. Oh. This theme site which is really busy for uh, early doors on a Friday night as well. Nice to see. We'll wander through because I was going to get to the toilet because it's really nice beer garden and stuff out here. But I've just found this absolutely exceptional little hidden room at the back called Carter's Cabin. Which is lovely. Lovely little pub this is. That's an absolutely lovely little pub that Robin Hood. So just over the road, uh, and it is a busy, busy junction as well this. Just over that brings us to stop number two, which is called the Mad Ox. Uh, looks a lot quieter, but it looks very nice. So I absolutely love it in here. It's really nice, really nice. Really classy looking, but look at these. Proper little doggy wall of fame. Absolutely brilliant. So we've got our bearings. You come down the street from the Mad Ox and we've come to a little sort of run of four. So our next stop is going to be just over here to Mixology, which is a cocktail bar. Uh, there's a lovely looking Thai restaurant in the middle of them. Uh, then one called Iron Dram, which is a moonshine. And don't laugh. She always laughs at a moonshine and cocktail lounge, which looks awesome. Uh, something called The Last Bank. And on the other side of the road that we're on now, something called the old post office, or last part of some of the old post office. So, uh, for the next 20 minutes, half an hour, we're going to be in this little vicinity. That's good. We got some mixology. So, first of the cocktail bars for the evening, and they don't do a pina colada. You're my little sad. Look, have a look at my face drop. Look. So, I have gone for a sex on the beach. Holly's got a four star martini. What do you say about it? Very nice. Very nice. She would talk to you, but she's on her phone as usual. Tell them about your pina colada. It's not a pina colada, it's a pina colada. It's very nice, yeah. Sweet, too sweet for me. Too sweet for me. It's past the test. Two cocktails for 12 quid, though, pretty good. Uh, nice little cocktail bar, friendly service. No pina colada, though. Yeah, nice little cocktail bar. This is a nice little tie. Looks very nice. Uh, I'll pop in. No, I'm not, because we've got drinking today. Uh, so, next up is the Iron Dram. Moonshine and cocktails. All she keeps doing is laughing at me. Why are you laughing at me? What's wrong with moonshine? Why are you laughing at me, Gordon? She thinks it's cold. It's not cold at all. Um, I've just realised as well. It's Friday the thirteenth. So God knows what else could happen through tonight. Right, I told you it was a moonshine bar. So what have I got? You don't have to be. Look, I'll, I'll face the camera to me. You don't want to be on. A blood orange. A blood orange. I'm this is a, this is for tasting. I haven't, even, I haven't even ordered a drink yet. A blood orange. Wild berry. A wild berry. Tough nut, which is like liquid Ferrero Rocher. Tough nut. Tough nut, yeah. Tough nut which is liquid Ferrero. Liquid. I can't speak. <laughs> liquid <laughs> Ferrero Rocher. See, I can't speak. I don't need moonshine, right? And that one is sticky toffee, so that's probably your sweetest. And sticky toffee. So blood orange. Yeah. Oh, that's lovely. Oh. I'm just going to leave it here. That's, that, that is beautiful, yeah. Wild berry. Wild berry. That one's a little bit more sour. Still nice. The blood orange is winning. Still nice. Tough nut. Tough nut, just like me. See, I didn't think I liked Ferrero Rochers, but I like that. Must be because it's alcoholic. <laughs> and... Sticky toffee, sweet. Oh my, I could probably drink bottles and bottles of that. I love sticky, I love sticky toffee pudding anyway. I probably drink bottles and bottles of that. This is a great little place. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna shut you off and I'm gonna order a drink now. I actually probably guessed they talked me into a, uh, a moonshine cocktail. Uh, it, it, my arm didn't take an awful lot of twisting. I will be honest. Um, this is the UK's only dedicated moonshine lounge, uh, and it's. It, it's lovely. It's pretty exceptional. Uh, I'm just going to show you around. So, Holly's not not brave enough for moonshine, so uh, she hasn't gone for that. But here is my uh, my tough nut. <laughs> right, video's cancelled. I'm staying here for the rest of the night. 
all my life. Who knows? This is beautiful. Honestly, I am so, so blown away with that. Like, literally, that is probably one of my favourite places that we've been so far on the entire pub crawl. Uh, and she knew that I'd love it. She knew that I would like anything like a moonshine cocktail bar is just right up my street. Uh, uh, just next door then, the last bank. Uh, I'm going to assume, looking at the building, that it used to be a bank, because that's what it certainly looks like. So that's our that's stop number five for the night. Oh yeah, 100% this place used to be a bank. It's, it's really uh, big and spacious, and that's exactly Great selection uh, of stuff on the cocktails, uh, on the cocktail bar, on the bar and things. Uh, it's nice, it's clean, it's modern looking. Um, apparently it's only been open a couple of years or so anyway. So yeah, it's a, it's a very nice, very classy vibe and feel to it. Nice place. And these guys have just opened a brand new place called 23, which is literally behind this wall behind me. Uh, and it's opening night tonight. Oh, if I have to go to another pub opening, then I will. Before we cross the road, uh, it is the soft opening then next door of 23. So we might as well, uh, we might as well check this out first. Uh, before we cross the road. Very, very new as you can tell. Uh, I'm going to spin you around so you can have as you can see it. Very, very new. Smells new, looks new. Uh, it's, I think it's going to do well. I think on this street with what's here, this will probably do well. So straight across the road from that, it's, a, it's soft opening. I mean, they, you can tell that they're not fully set up and ready for it yet, but it's going to be a nice place. I think it's going to be, it's going to be a decent cocktail bar and stuff. Uh, opposite then. So we have made it now. It feels like we've been on this street for ages and we haven't even sort of made the town yet. Um, so we're on the nice street, so to speak. But yeah, the old post office is next. Um, and then we're gonna head towards the town. So in the old post office, this is definitely like a, this is a live music venue, uh, playing really good indie music. Like, yeah, this is, it's pretty music. She takes the piss at me all the time. I know, you do you see what I have to go through being married to her? Like, this is a really good bar, this. Like, yeah, we're, we're, with this street, I tell you what, this street as a whole has been absolutely banging. We are out of that little street. That street, I, to be honest, I absolutely love that little street. I think it's absolutely brilliant. It's beautiful. Some of this though, look at here. I'm sorry, I'm doing that thing again, aren't I? But this is, this is the little, this is obviously like the market square and the stuff of Pontefract with a, with a lovely old, uh, like church thing in there. And we found the Craft Union Bar. And it's called the Ancient Borough Arms. So we're gonna go in here, we're gonna have three blue wickets for six quid, and we're gonna carry on on our merry way. Quiet for a craft union, to be honest. Like, uh, yeah, reasonably, uh, reasonably quiet, but you know, the idea was three blue wickets for six quid, and we found three blue Like it says up there on the poster, we got three blue wickets for six quid, so win win. Uh, Friday's quiet anyway, but yeah, quite quiet for a craft union, but uh, the music's a bit, it's a bit garagey. Uh, DJ's a bit akin to, uh, if you ever watch Phoenix Nights, Rave On. Rave On! Yeah. I think it's a bit rave on. Uh, 50 yards down the road, so we've found an alleyway. Uh, there's, there's a pub called The Hideaway, so we're gonna go and find The Hideaway next. Ooh, The Hideaway, uh, it's beautiful. Hide, hideaway, Hideaway, Hideout, Hideaway. Beautiful. Um, and in the fridge, I spiked some sours, and you know what that means. So this is, this is by uh, Brew York, and this is Fruit Pie. A fruit pie from Brew York. So I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna channel my inner Dave Rowe if he bothers to watch any of my videos, which he probably doesn't. But I'm gonna chat her up. So we're gonna pour this. Into, oh wow, this is a darky. Right. So it's Brew York sour fruit pie. Fork City, you have got competition, buddy. This is pretty special. 8%. Uh-ohs. Uh-ohs. It's gonna be a fun night. Polly's all laughing at me already, aren't you? I think you're drunk already. Polly thinks I'm drunk already. If I'm not, I just might be after this. Do you love me? Do you love our pub calls? Do you You got anything to say to anybody? See, so I didn't try. See, so I didn't try and make a talk. So we absolutely loved it in there. And um, right, they do a uh, an unlimited. It's like a bottomless brunch thing called uh, something tapas. But yeah, they do a, a pina colada on their offer, thirty five quid for ninety minutes worth of unlimited. Several other things apart from pina coladas. But you know, mate, a ninety minute unlimited pina colada drink off. So I have a feeling that we're going to be back at the hideaway in Pontefract very soon for Dale versus the uh, the bottomless tapas thing uh, with the pina coladas. How many pina coladas do people actually think I could drink in 90 minutes? Because I think it'd be a lot. Holly's 
just suddenly disapprovingly. And dying of hiccups. Dying of hiccups. I'm not sure that's a thing. Has anyone ever died of hiccups? Let, me, let us know in the comments. Has anybody ever died of hiccups? Do you know anyone that ever died of hiccups? I don't. Um, right, so our next port of call apparently is here, the elephant. So we're going to go out here, uh, and then we've got the red lion here, which looks very nice. Uh, and we've got several to find before 11 o'clock because I got distracted, as I do, you know. Elephant next. Yeah, this just arrived. It's um, absolutely empty for some reason. Uh, nice enough pub, no one here. To be honest, we feel a little bit sorry for them in there because it's really, 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 I mean, the town's quite anyway, but it's really, really, really quiet. And it's not a bad pub. The music's a little bit questionable, but it's not, it's not a bad pub. Just opposite though. Uh, is the Red Lion. I, I don't even know what number we're on tonight, but yeah, next stop gonna be for us, the Red Lion. Yeah, this one's quite cool to go. I've come and sat down here away from the music so I wasn't getting copyright on uh, YouTube and all, but this has got a big, um, up there's got a big dance floor uh, and space. It's quite a decent, it's a decent pub. It's got a little bit, of, bit more about it, a bit of a vibe to it. Um, it's a really nice old boozer as well. Uh, yeah, really good pub. This is probably mainly about being cold. We've now found, this is a beautiful sort of square, right? So I've come to another, another little bit where it seems like there's an awful lot of booze around. Ponty Tavern, Mink Shovel, uh, Bar Juice and a, and a nightclub. You know I love nightclub. Uh, but the one we were supposed to go to was the Old Grocers. So we're doing that next to make sure we get it in. So Old Grocers for next. So I've come to the Old Grocers and as expected it is a beautiful little micro pub with some absolutely... It's not that you've got no beer, it's not that you've got no beer, they've got some nice banging selections on. They said they, they've just, you've just come back from one of these. They've just come back from one of these, they've not got a lot on. But, you know, I've got, I've got an absolutely banging little Indian pale ale, so I'm, I, I'm well happy in it. Uh, recommended to come by Micro Pub uh, Adventures on Facebook. Don't miss Scott, like, find Micro Pub Adventures on Facebook and follow it. Look at the face on it. This is all about for hours, all about this disapproving look. But yeah, the old grocers, make sure you get here early because they shut early to avoid dickheads. And it's a great idea. I'd shut early to avoid dickheads as well. But I got in. So they haven't avoided all dickheads, you know, you know, you know. Uh, top, top place, the old grocers. Glad we caught them. Next door. It's our second craft union bar tonight. You know what that means? Three blue wickets for six pounds. You're on one side. This is what I mean. This is what I have to put with all the time. Got a bit of karaoke. Uh, is it craft union bar? Good bit of fun. Got a bit of karaoke and stuff going on. You know. I mean, I might sing. I might not. Depends on the game or not. <laughs> Try it, it's party bar. I don't know what's going on. Well, I don't know why you've got your camera on there, I don't know. No one's on me. You fell outside in karaoke, did you? I've ended up on karaoke. No, I did end up on karaoke. But I got a standard ovation and everybody loved it. Because I sing like a fucking angel. And my wife, the first time she heard me sing, said, What did you say? What do you tell me the first time you heard me say? What do you say? The first time you heard me say, what do you say? What do you say? I'm never gonna give you a What did you hear? What did you say the first time you heard me sing? I said exactly what you just said. What, that I sing like an angel? Yeah. I know. I know. I know. That's what my wife said the first time she heard me sing. And I do sing like an angel. Oh, well, I mean that looks a bit chubby. I mean, um alright. Uh, right, we're gonna go into Ponty Tavern next. So that's a, that's our next book called a Ponty Tavern. I'm not saying what I said was chubby because we can't go in there a minute. I don't want it on the video to say what I said was chubby. Yeah. I'm not gonna get run over. I'm not getting run over. So we came out, we came out because we uh, read on Google that Green Dragon was open till uh, midnight. It definitely isn't, it's been that's been closed for ages. So we're we're now in search of wherever we can actually get into because I hate it when places shut early, I really do hate it. Right, we found one. Uh, Barley Mo. There we go. Uh, Barley Mo, uh, still open, so we're gonna go in here and try this one. Look at my wife, she's been like me, look, look at her, look, look, oh. See, she does like me occasionally. Uh, Barley Mo, it's, it's, yeah, it's quiet, but everywhere's quiet. At least it's still open. A nice pub, nice pub, plenty of people. Yeah, good place, good place. So it comes to that sort of midnighty point where we're struggling to find places to open. However, we've done a little plan where we might, 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 Managed to hit three more, all to shut before one. It's about ten past twelve. So our next port of call is going to be up here in front. There we go. That's going to be Bar Liquid now. Uh, then Weather Spoons and whatever's closer. I can't remember what the name is. Um, to one. Uh, and then once we get past one, 
<laughs> All right, we'll see. Kebab shots all look open, though. Right, we, we did join, I promise. Uh, I can't really do a video because the noise, they keep trying to copyright me on for the, for the music playing in the background on, on YouTube, so I can't read that. But it's, it's, a, it's a tiny, tiny little space. It obviously, this obviously used to be a pub, but it, um, it's now, it's obviously a late night, like, nightclub-y type vibe. Uh, it's all, it's all right, to be fair. I had a, had a VK, I literally, I strawed it, I straw pe I straw it. Did I, did I not straw it? You did. Straw it. <laughs> It was too cold and I didn't finish it, but I did straw it and I was close. I don't know why my wife has to do this. I don't know why she does this. We're gonna, we were at we were at this one. So this is Beast Fair Vault. Uh, we want to walk down. There's a lot of old Bill around here. I don't really get why. This is not any trouble. Uh, so the old girl, the old girl. This is Beast Fair Vault, which is um, uh, yeah. So we're gonna get, we're gonna nip in here quick before we run to where we're and the other one next. Uh, let's let's go for the, let's go for the record. Sat in, uh, I can't even remember what's it called? The Beastie, the Beast Fair Ball. So that's why it's actually got the Beast Fair Ball. So, a bit of JT playing, and Holly's like, yeah, Justin Timberlake will probably get it. He would, though. So that's why it's far with. But yeah, it's all right, it's a party venue. So it's still open, so that's a good thing. So, quick, a quick uh, shimmy down the town. Shimmy, I haven't used the word shimmy in ages. A quick shimmy down the town takes us to opposite weather zones, but to horse vaults, it's also shuts of one. But we are well in time to get in. So horse bolts and weather stones, we can do these in we can do these before one. Got in a bit late, uh, they're doing a bit of karaoke and stuff like that, so it's almost it's almost time to close. But this is a this is a really good side booth, a bit of a karaoke from earlier. Really good side booth So uh, we're trying to get through this and then we're gonna head to weather stones on the opposite side of the road, we're spanning until one, and then we'll see where we go from there. We have a lot of time. We get accused of being professional drinkers. I mean they're not massively wrong, but professional drinkers is a bit of a stretch. So well, there are, we've got about eight minutes to get into this weather zones, which is called so can you find the Broken Bridge. We'll see. We'll see. We'll go. No, no. Oh, you know, I'm not getting right. I'm filming myself, so I'm just asking you a question. So, at what point? At what? At what part are we being rude? Yeah, before we even said anything, it was rude. It was just rude from the get-go. It was just rude. <laughs> yeah. No. All the staff who are also clearly rude. Interesting. This is all going to your head office in the morning, by the way. But. <laughs> Right. Um, I'm, I'm a little bit uh, amused and, and well, I'm, just, I'm amazed by the rudeness of the Wetherspoons in, where are we? Pontefract. Well, no, We've we never even, seen. Before we even asked yeah. about the drinks, we got the clothes. Yeah. Yeah. So at least 25 minutes before they actually advertise that they are shut, they're closed and they're rude. And the staff are rude or won't speak to us. Is that right, Beth? The staff are either rude or won't speak to us. Do you want to speak to me? Well, just, why, why have we shut early? Uh, you rang the bell at quarter two. Well, yeah, but we were in, you didn't ring the bell. We were in at quarter two. You didn't ring the bell then. So we were in at quarter two, and he said, we, you, we, we shut up. But you don't shut till one? Yeah, we stopped. I know we stopped serving at quarter two. Oh, at quarter two. But we were in at quarter two, and we were told we couldn't have drink. So, um, we're there. I mean, we, we go, not only did we not get a drink in Wellesmith, but he called the police! He co I'm filming myself now, lad. But he called the police because he didn't want to serve us. Imagine. I think he might have something to do with that shirt, but. Hey, hey, hey. It might have been a shirt, but it's. Hey, hey. You know I don't like the police, but I like these. They're all right, you know. They're all right, you know. But yeah, he called the police. I can't even understand it. Whoever's been shutting early, they're in the wrong. And I got the police. This will make a great video tomorrow. I mean, that is a that is a first for us. Holly, Holly nearly got arrested. Holly's never been arrested before. Never. <laughs> that I was a, a DBS check for work. I mean, I mean to be fair, to be fair, the officers actually just seen the officers, the the coppers were standing. To be fair. Um, well, I feel we need one more drink, and there's nowhere else for us to go. So we're going to have to do a nightclub. So I have to do big fellas nightclub to finish the night off because I can't even make sense of that. I can't wait for I can't wait to hear back from Weatherspoon's head office tomorrow about what an absolute tosser that manager is so well uh we'll, we'll see that so big fans we're gonna finish off with so after nearly getting arrested we are yeah we, we didn't nearly get arrested we are we are sat in big fellas uh it's a nightclub you know nightclubs and nightclubs it's not really our company it's all right yeah it's all right yeah it's not really our company we've got um there were three uh three bks at 715 so obviously we wore six uh the police were sound um the weather spoons boss is a dick um Thanks for watching. We're off to Barnsley tomorrow, so 
maybe we'll get arrested tomorrow, you know? We can try, we can, we can, we'll, we'll try our hardest. Uh, thank you very much. Cheers.